Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, I just decided to start making a video because, well, it's kind of late at night. It's not that late to me, but some people it might be late. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, I just wanted to keep you guys, uh, I just want to update you guys real quick. Uh, last Saturday, I believe it was, last Saturday or so, um, I got, I went over to my girlfriend's house to spend the night and hang out with her because she's about to go off to college soon. And, well, I called my mom because the lady who I work for uh, called me and told me that I can go over and get my paycheck. So I called my mom, and no answer. Call my dad, no answer. So it's like, okay, they must be busy. Next thing you know, I get a text from my mom, and I don't know if you guys remember, but, uh, sorry, I'm tying my favorite knot, which is the polymer knot. Really strong, I love it. Uh, back to the story. Anyways, so I'm texting my mom, and she goes, By the way, your new vendetta came in the mail, so I'm kind of excited to get home. But at the same time, I don't want to look too excited because, yeah. Give me a second. So, yeah. Anyways. I'll show you guys the new rod in a second. I'm gonna, like I said, finish tying my palm or not. Um, I was out fishing. I already used it. I love it. I'm gonna do a review too about it in the same video. So keep posted. Um, anyways, yeah, it's. I thought they'd send me out the same vendetta I had through Abu Garcia, which, no. Well, to be honest, I didn't like the feeling of the first Vendetta as much as I thought I did compared to the new one. Eh, anyways. I'm doing my, uh, Braid de Mono. Or, yeah, Braid de Mono, right here. Got four out, extra wide gap, laser sharp. Four out hook. I don't know if I already said that. But yeah, these things, these are actually really good for fishing and I don't know if you can for like Texas rigging I, don't, I get more bites on wacky rigging I don't know why wacky rigs just give me more I produce more fish but it could be the place where I'm fishing which I'm finding a new place hopefully because the one I fish at too many people fish too often well yeah anyways boom the brand new Vendetta. It's got the open reel seat. No, there you go. It's got the open reel seat. Doesn't have that plastic piece where it normally is. It's got the split grip. Six, this is a six foot six medium action. I can tell you what. I definitely feel a difference. If you guys are going out to buy a new rod, I do actually recommend. I do recommend getting this. I was going to sell this and get the Bass Pro Shop Pro Qualifier. But then I started talking with Tackle Junkie and whatnot. And he said that it's up to me on what I wanted to do with it because, well, it's my rod and whatnot. But I started thinking. It's like, you know, I already got this. Why do I want to fight with trying to sell it when people aren't going to give me as much as I, I would like for it? And then I'm going to have to deal with the shipping of getting the new rod that I want out to me and so I just said forget about it and as you see she's all spooled up and ready to go again um there you go I got my new vendetta the next generation uh, right there which is I must say I love this this, this has changed my outlook on Abu Garcia. Now, what'll be better is when I catch that bit, the fish, the fish that snapped my rod. I know what I did wrong. Thanks to Tackle Junkie, I'm gonna fix that mistake, and I'm gonna start just slobbing again. I'm after another nine-pound bass if I can ever get one. I'm heading out to the beach. Saturday?
yeah, it's Saturday. Me and my girlfriend might be going out to the beach. I'll get some videos of us or some pictures to post on Facebook. If you guys go check out my Facebook, I have that linked up on my channel. So you can check out my Facebook. Um, yeah, sorry, I was reading texts. But, yeah, I just want to let you guys know I got the new Vendetta. And it's really, I can feel a difference. And I'm still throwing 65 pound braid out not going to take that off my reel. I've just gotten to where I love how, yes, I know it's a little obsessive to have 65 pound braid. It's like, what am I fishing for? Big whales or something? No, I just, I just like the feeling of the braid. Yes, I know it's a lot. I always worry about snapping my line. Now I don't have to worry about snapping my line. The only thing I have to worry about is snapping my rod. And yes, I know, ow. Oops. Anyways. And yes, I know people will say I kind of overkilled it with the 65-pound braid. You know, fishing's just trial and error, and I just took one of my things off my list of trial and error. Yeah, I know it snapped my first rod, but I already know what I did wrong, so that trial and error is gone. And now, as you see, is I actually have drag. See? I have my drag set up. So I will not snap another rod, and if I do, looks like I'm out of fishing for a bit, and I'll go back to my 6-pound mono combo uh, but anyways to, I have the yet again I'm gonna rephrase what I'm using I have 65 pound braid power pro with the Abu Garcia Vendetta the thing the model number is the VNTC VNTC 66-5 it is the medium it holds 14 uh, 14 no, one fourth the five ounce lure, eight seventeen pound line, which my sixty five pound braid is the equivalent of twelve pound mono. Yes, I know it's a lot of braid. I understand that, so don't flame on me about using sixty five pound braid. I like yet again. I will go over this. I like the sixty five pound braid. I like how it feels. I like how smooth it casts. It casts like any other braid I've used. Except for spiderware. Ugh. I want to use that and... <laughs> Let's just say I'm better using a toothpick to try and pull on a fish with that. Because that's how much... I didn't like how it frayed. Oh, and another thing. I also got these. The Rapala Snips. The Ultra Scissors. These. Two bucks. Best buy I've ever done. I went to another store today. They wanted six dollars for these. Six dollars. I found the scale I have. They wanted $43, and I spent 38 on mine. I'm, no. That's just, I know that this is a rant and rave video, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, I got my new, let's get back to what I was talking about. I got my uh, Revo SX, second generation, 11 ball bearing, 7 1 to 1 gear ratio. Love this thing. Thank you, Philly Bastion. I haven't heard from you in forever. Don't know if you're still YouTubing or not, but, yeah, anyways. Uh, I got these real grips from, uh, he now changed his name to, like, Extreme Bass Fisher or something like that. He used to be called One, Ro one Rod, One Reel. He's an awesome guy. I've been watching all of his videos. Same thing with Tackle Junkie. I'm slowly going back through all your videos and watching them. And on here, for my leader of mono, I have Omniflex 20-pound mono. 20-pound. Does great. Still keeps the braid sensitive and the tip sensitive, and whew, I have used this m braid to mono a bit. And sorry, I keep I have a small roof in my room, and I keep stabbing it with the tip of my rod. I'm like, oh, what's that? Well, I'm hitting the roof. But uh, yeah. Anyways, my girlfriend's up and walking. She now has the bone infection gone. It's a hundred percent gone. She has the pick line out. She's been out fishing with me. So yeah, stay tuned for video. Uh, Thanks for watching. Sorry if I ruined this video for you guys or my channel. I'm sorry. Um, I'd like to announce that I'm up to 133 or 134 subscribers. One of my videos has almost hit 5,000 views. I thank you guys a lot. And I'm running out of ideas to do videos. I don't have a video camera for when I go out fishing. My money's really tight right now because of having to replace stuff and trying to get stuff ready for when my girlfriend goes to college. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, have a nice night, and see you guys, and good luck out on the water, and 
keep it smooth. Remember, don't tighten the drag, you'll snap your rod. Learn from this guy. Anyways, see you guys. <laughs>